Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have for you my May favorites. I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon of doing favorites videos. Um, I gathered some of my favorite things, some things I've been thinking about this month, some things, some things I want to share with you. So because my channel is mainly beauty and planners, I have some beauty stuff and I have some planner related stuff. So this is just a general favorites for the month of May. The first thing is this little Shopkins guy that I found at Michael's that's in the shape of a lipstick. I love Shopkins. I think they're so stinking cute. I don't collect them like I don't have any Shopkins, but I, there's like a plushy like strawberry that I really want to buy, but I don't need, but I figured this little guy would be great because he's on my keychain and you know, you can always, you can never have too many keychains. So I have no idea what this little guy's name is, but he's the little, or she is the little lipstick one. So I thought that was super cute and definitely goes with my love of makeup. Next is this Cody Airspun foundation, foundation, I keep saying that, Airspun loose face powder. I love this to set my makeup using a damp beauty blender. I think it does a great job. I think it makes your makeup last all day. It's like glue. It just makes everything stay put. It's amazing. So I've been using this all month. I think I've been using this pretty much all year. And I'm going to continue to use it because it's in my June makeup basket. Some more makeup stuff. This is the Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in the shade Tiki. But it's definitely more of a highlight. It's a great one for just a subtle like highlight thing going on. Just a little bit of a subtle glow. It reminds me of the Ambient Lighting Palette powders from Hourglass. It reminds me from or reminds me of Wet n Wild's uh, bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's just a nice like soft illuminating kind of highlighter thing. It doesn't have any like glitter or shimmer or it's not too overpowering like um I don't know something like a Mac um like my Mac Mineralized Skin Finish thing. I think that's what it's called in Light Scapade or I'm trying to think of another like it doesn't have it doesn't give you that bam it just gives you more of a soft kind of glow and I really like that and it's really affordable from Walmart another really affordable brand of things that I tried this month is or this last month in May was City Color I tried a few of their B matte blushes my favorite blush I think I remember saying like looking at this one this is the shade blackberry I believe and thinking there was some glitter in it and then I just kind of put it away and went through the other ones this definitely has some glitter in it it's not like it shows up too much but it's definitely not matte there's definitely some reflective things in here but anyway this one is they're so soft and this one is so pretty it's like a pretty like plummy color I have residual swatches on my hand from my makeup basket but this is just it's a beautiful like plummy color that looks really great on the cheeks. These are so soft. I really, really love these. And I got these from Five Below. Um, I'm not quite sure how much they are on the website, but obviously they were under $5 at Five Below. So I think those are really great. This one's my favorite shade from this month. The next thing from City Color that I tried is this contour palette that I can't find on their website, but I did also get it at Five Below and it's the Contour Effects On The Go palette. And it has all these shades in it. And I really liked this shade to use for contouring. These highlighters, like this one, it came off a little bit too frosty. I liked it in the beginning, but I definitely think it was it had a little bit of like frost to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in a swatch. But it's just, yeah, it's just a little bit too white. And that's this top one here. It's just a little bit too, like, bright white. And it's too frosty. It's not blending very well with my skin, if that makes sense. Um, then my favorite lipstick is this Cray Cray. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. It was a limited edition one. And it is in Cray Cray, which I have it swatched right here. Let's see. I'll put a little swatch right there. It's really bright. I want to show you the dupe one which is more expensive that I have for it. It's actually from Too Faced. I guess this one would be a dupe for the one for Too Faced, but obviously they don't make Cray Cray anymore, but you can definitely get your hands on the Too Faced one in Melted Fuchsia. This one is just a little bit more of a glossy formula, but they are definitely, definitely very, very similar. Um, so this isn't my makeup basket this month, which I don't know why, but yeah, so those are those two. I remember talking about that in my um, makeup basket or in my get ready with me or something about those two and how they were dupes of each other, but I couldn't remember the name. So the next thing I want to move into is hair care. This I got from Influencer. It's the Ever Pure L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System. There is like a leave-in treatment, this, con uh, this mask, a shampoo, and a conditioner. My two favorite products from the line are the mask and the shampoo. Um, 
and I am always looking to add a mask to my hair care routine. I already sort of have a color care routine. I use the Redken shampoo. I use whatever conditioner right now. It's the Suave um, Moroccan oil. It's one of my favorite conditioners. And then I also use a mask every other day or whatnot because I feel like my hair is so, so dry. So I would definitely repurchase this. This is, I'm always looking to add a mask. I'm always looking to add something great to my hair care routine. I reviewed the macadamia nut oil mask on my blog which was not really my favorite and I reviewed the Shea Moisture one it's like in a pink tub and that is one of my favorite hair masks and I was running I ran out of that and I got this from Influencer this month and so I've been trying it it's really great the whole line smells really good it smells like minty and fresh so I think that's really good it's like invigorating I guess which is bad when you're kind of taking a shower at night but I definitely love this from the line so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna repurchase this I'm gonna looking for masks so I'm buying a whole bunch of different ones but I'm definitely probably gonna re definitely probably definitely gonna repurchase that when the time comes when I've decided what kind of masks I want to actually have and then this I wore these nails um two weeks ago I think like the middle of May and they are like I don't know I'm not gonna take them out they are French tip acrylic nails they don't look like this they're more oval they're more um like almond shaped they're not as pointy as the um, nails that I have on now but they're more of like a definite almond and I really love them they're long enough they're pretty they the glue in here is amazing it's actually the glue I'm wearing under these nails today because I feel it's much stronger than the glue that I get at the beauty supply store and so the nails are actually like a light pink they have a French tip on them and the glue is actually a light pink as well so you're not seeing like weird glue under your nails I am really impressed by this I think I'm gonna pick these up again um, because I love the length and I love the shape and I love that the glue is really really strong so these are one of my favorite nails the nails that I'm wearing right now are actually like full they're just full um, almond I think it's called active oval and I think they're by kiss as well and you get like a container of so many odd like 50 nails or something like that and um, I just file them down and make them a little bit pointy and that's my favorite um, I'm saying I'm a lot that's my favorite like shape right now is this pointiness of the nails so I kind of need to clean up a little bit they're looking kind of gross right now um, but I painted them last night and I still haven't really cleaned up the edges so anyway so now that we're done with like beauty stuff I want to move on to planner stuff the first is planner stamp so this is the infamous Michaels planner stamp thing um, jar that first came out a way long time ago but then they just released these recollection brand um, planners which I don't have mine down here but the recollection brand planners and they came out with planner stamps here I've been loving to stamp in my planner and I have my planner stamps <laughs> in this little container is a photo oops that just fell out it's a photo box and you get these little boxes that go in there and you can put your four by six photos in it I'm using it to store my planner stamps so what do I want to say oh the stamps that I love or the thing I'm loving to do is using white ink on black inserts or just plain old black ink on my regular inserts and I have a variety of stamps in here with dates um, cameras passport cars bill due different little um, numbers the months icons things like that I'm really loving stamping in my planner using these little acrylic blocks and I wanted to say if you are looking to get into stamping there is this little set here from Michaels it does have ink with it ink is not that great I haven't tried it I just heard it wasn't so I'm not even going to try and use it and you get this little stamp with this little acrylic block and it also can punch into your planner if you have a personal size planner which is the line that comes or that Michaels has released is a line of personal size planners, so this can fit into one that you already have a color crush a file fax um, Marion Smith anything that's personal size Kiki K you can punch it in there and it comes with this little acrylic box so I think that's really great there's um, a bunch of different icons there's like workout reading grocery list there's the dates it's really there's like a to-do list kind of thing it's really really great for anybody interested in getting started in stamping I also want to say two of my favorite planners this month have been the Webster's Pages um, Color Crush, the new line in the, what is this called, like Platinum Rose and Walnut. I haven't moved into either of these yet, but as they sit on my shelf, I've just been staring at them. The quality of these new planners is the bomb. They are to die for. They are beautiful. They are well put together. It's just 
it blew me away the quality of this release because last release I have a kind of like a review video and um, on my channel and I've talked about the color crushes in all my videos about color crushes my first color crush was like horrible but this new release is amazing if you've been on the fence about getting a personal size planner or you want to try one out Blitzy always has personal size or not personal size Blitzy always has most of the time has uh, Webster's pages on there and Blitzy is like a flash sale site for craft supplies and so you can get these at a super discount. Sometimes you can get the kit with like the inserts or you can just get the binder and make your own inserts. It's amazing. Um, I love these two colors. They are gorgeous and beautiful. And they're also doing a summer release like in July with like a Kelly green and a purple and I'm excited about those as well. And my last favorite, which I really don't want to call a favorite because I have, I waited over a month for this to ship to me because um, the Marion Smith website, they were moving um, warehouses or whatnot and they didn't i guess anticipate how long it was going to take for things to ship anyway i ordered april 1st and it said seven to ten more business like seven to ten business days for processing i said great i can wait 10 days for me to get a planner i assumed it would ship on the 10th day i would wait another two three days and get it i waited over a month i didn't get this till like the 5th of may and i ordered on april 1st so i do like it though because it's so pretty on the inside this like the gold foil hearts are just gorgeous. I haven't decided what planner I'm going to use for June yet. I need to move in. I think I'm done with my um, my Filofax originals. Those were my favorite planner, but I think I'm done with those just because the rings are so small. I don't really know what to use them. My floral pink is still my all-time baby. I used my lavender this month and I didn't really like it. Um, but So I don't think I'm going to purchase any more of the floral pink the floral pink i'm not going to purchase any more of the personal size original file faxes the rings are just too small there's not enough pockets for me to feel inspired so yeah i think i'm done with that um so anyway and those are my favorites for this month it was kind of an all-around kind of favorite kind of thing planners and beauty stuff i will leave links down below to various videos you can follow me on all my social media channels uh, the username on everyone is at 5 16th i recently joined peach so follow me there if you want to I'll talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.